Prince Charles is believed to be planning to cut down the number of working royal family members as soon as he becomes king but the reasoning behind his decision was recently exposed. Prince Charles has long been expected to cut down the number of working members of the royal family as one of his first act as king. With the departure of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, and the forced retirement of Prince Andrew last year, the number of active royals has already fallen sharply. But magazine The Taco suggested the Prince of Wales could further streamline the royal family to bring down the risks of drama and scandals during his reign. The magazine said, many royal family fans were surprised to learn that Harry and Meghan Markle were withdrawing from royal life. But the truth is that the number of active family members has been decreasing and that might not be a coincidence. Of course, this would increase the workload for those who remain but it would allow for a less drama, less opportunity for scandals and create a more streamlined monarchy. But the magazine noted the reduction of working royals would automatically put more pressure on Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge as the next in line to the throne. And warned of potential breaks with senior working members of the family like Princess Anne, who has long been considered one of the most hard-working royals despite being 14th in the line of succession. The magazine added, in addition to an increased workload for William and Kate. This would risk alienating hard-working members of the royal family, including Princess Anne. Except for rare instances like 2019 when the Prince of Wales has carried out more engagements, the Princess Royal has long recorded the highest number of public appearances on behalf of the royal family for years. Speaking shortly after the Duke of York was forced to step down last year, when speculation of a scaled-down royal family re-emerged. Expert Lydia Starbucks warned Charles would risk losing a key tool for the promotion of the family if he forced Anne to step down. The Royal Central News editor said, she does support such a huge range of charities and organizations and she gives them a much higher profile. The thing is, were she to be taken out of the Royal Rota, they would lose a big percentage of the engagements they carry out every year. She added, we do tallies of all of the times we've seen the Royals through the year and Anne is always top. There have been a couple of years when Charles just leapfrogged her by maybe two or three engagements but last year it was 518 engagements. Taking that away, it leaves a big gap. Commentator Brittany Barger echoed M. Starbucks' assessment, jokingly admitting she would not want to be the one forced to suggest to Princess Anne she will have to renounce her role within the family. M's Barger said, when Charles does ascend the throne. His calls for a slimmed-down monarchy and everything. Should he keep Anne, working and everything? I would argue yes, just because she is Anne and I wouldn't want to face her when she was told she was done. <laughs>